Good afternoon, folks. Welcome back to Scholar. Um, we're back. We prevailed, thanks to a uh, generous person who got in touch with me and uh, helped me use Cheat Engine to effectively uh, keep the menu over. Uh, keep the menu open as I remove the items from my inventory. The bad items. So what happened was... Uh, Someone dropped some hacked items that will get your save borked. In in essence. And then... Yeah. And then once you open your inventory, the game just closes. Which kind of sucks. Uh, oh, right. With me, Arrakis and Dexalon. Welcome. Hey. Uh, I was exploring spiders. Ooh, spooters. Yeah, I was exploring Spiderland, I think. You yeah. found Spider Church. Oh, I love yeah. Spider Church. Right, I was trying to do that fight. I was yeah, like, this, at, at the uh, time, I was like, hey, I kind of enjoy this fight. I saw Loon do it. It looked kind of fun. I don't like it. The, the boss fight? or Yeah, the boss yeah. fight. Oh, Freya's great, sweet, sweet baby girl, or whatever the fuck it's called. No. <laughs> hey, thanks, Ada. Oh, you're Sorry, getting ahead of yourself. No, I think that's a different one. Um, Congregation. Oh, oh, that's down here. Right, 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 right. Prowling Magus. Yeah, Magus and Congregation. I, I took out Ma Magus. Um, I forgot about them. I took out mages and then it went wrong pretty badly. Oh, I found a, a wall, illusory wall. Got a bit passive. That's all. Whoa! But can you blame me for forgetting this is a boss? This just looks like a room. I think it's fine. It is just a room. This is one of those things where. It's uh, it's inoffensive, but at the same time, it feels like this could have been so much cooler. Like yeah, kind of um, hold on. Synergy with the the various dudes in here, but it's just it's just a bunch of dudes. So yeah, many lots in chat is is mentioning like minor spoilers, I suppose. Dark Souls Three does a similar thing on this theme, but. A little better. better. And yeah. it's it's kind of like what I was uh, saying many streams ago about when we were talking about Demon Souls randomly at some point, where Demon Souls has some neat ideas, uh, especially some neat boss ideas that it doesn't really flesh out or use to its their greatest potential, but they do get recycled in later games, and a few of them get recycled here in Dark Souls too. So it's it's you know it's nice to yeah. see like that that work in progress first draft style. Mm -hmm. And yeah. for something like this, it's it's a room, it's a bunch of dudes there. See, you took the thing and you smacked the things and yippee dee. I didn't mind that. It only took me two tries, I think. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I only got one try at it before the incident. Yeah. It just kind of walked forward and swung. Man. Yeah, Stormlord in... Um, Stormlord and Demon Souls, for instance, Unregistered Hypercam 2 says, really neat boss on paper. It doesn't work so well. Dark Souls 3 know. takes the Stormlord and kind of refines it into a better boss. I don't know if I agree. Well... I, it's an easier boss. I don't know if it's better. It's, uh, better. the boss they refine it to is just... No, it's... You win. Uh, Stormlord feels like there is a little bit more to it, personally. I mean, you and I have also been on record. Like, I, 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 I have a bias toward aesthetics and and plot yeah. stuff. But, and the one in three definitely like leans heavier on that. It does lean heavier on on plot, though. It's maybe you shouldn't. That's talk why. About it. Dog ever plays three? I guess. I'll play three at some point. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well. Well, that's we'll, enough. Uh, we'll back off on that. 
Spike Wait, the and plot stuff. I love this area. It's pretty, it's pretty cool in that uh, regard. I'll, I'll admit. I gotta imagine I'm like closing in on that fourth soul. I can't be that far away. You're a few Ooh, areas deep in this path, yes. Ah! Um, there here's was the one question stuck for you, on though. Wall. Have you looked at an item called Bonfire Aesthetic? Oh no. Isn't that the thing that... Isn't that this thing? No, it's a flame butterfly. Oh, oh and you have a oh. uh, bone dust? I do have a bone glory. dust. I got distracted by the incident. <laughs> I see. It's understandable. Um... The what now? What am I looking for? Bonfire aesthetic. Well, I, I know you have at least one, so you don't need to look at are it. Are they inventory. in the consumable list, or are they somewhere else? I thought they appeared in here. Because, I mean, bone dust appears in here, so it would stand to reason. Well, honestly, thinking about it, maybe you don't have one. Winners don't use bonfire aesthetics. <laughs> I can't agree with that. Anyway, well, I'll, I guess. What does it do? It basically it, it it kicks the area that is sort of related to the bonfire that you use it on mm -hmm. to the next new game. Weird. So if you're you can take game, a zone and make it new game plus one. Yes. Everything gets slightly harder, the enemies respawn, sometimes new enemies spawn. New items. New item. well, sometimes new items. Yeah, sometimes. Some things you actually legitimately have to get to new game plus whatever. Exactly. I don't know, I don't know, um... Oh, hi, spider friend. I don't know what, uh what governs what will and will not, you know, work through a aesthetic, but. I um, hear a bonfire, but. What I would, um. Oh wait, I just found a bonfire. It's the one right above. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, I was just going to say regarding that. Uh, if you want to try one of those at some point, um, it might be scary to use it in like a, an actual area, but you can use it on the Medulla Bonfire as well. And, the strongest three little pigs. And there might be reasons to do so. It's, it's interesting, basically. So if you want to try a bonfire aesthetic in this playthrough, that the would be the, would place be the to one do. to do. Yeah. We have a lovely seaside village. Oh, by the way, you're rich. I am rich. Oh, by the way, <laughs> you filthy one percent. No, not, not in this game. Ah, I knew it. Yeah, I don't have billions of souls. I'm sorry. Jeff Bay souls. Good one. I'm proud of it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I hate it. Thanks, I hate it. <laughs> Is that a chat? No, that's just... Okay. Diego has robbed one church. He is small time. It's true. We come here in search of gold. I don't know. Diego almost got banned by reality, so. That was Diego's attempt at burning the ships. He heard Cortez had done it and was trying to, like, you know, be with the cool guys. I can't remember which difficulty Cortez is in that game. I would imagine Cortez has to be, like, 
if you're going for Conquistador nerd, the hardest difficulty, because he actively made yeah. like everyone's life shitty to inspire them to... No, the guy who actively rebelled against Spain is, is the hardest mode. <laughs> oh! Oh, jeez! Oh, okay. Ah, that, that also make, makes sense. Yeah. Though, uh... It is, uh... It is interesting reading about Cartes and... Like, the... How unlikely everything about that... Everything he did... Was. Oh, yeah. Like, just... Both how unnecessary everything he did was, and how unlikely it was that he would succeed at it. How much sheer blind luck it took for him to arrive at exactly the right time to topple an empire. Yeah. Because weren't they already, like, going through some major internal struggles that left them very... Not very in a great spot. Yeah. That's what... It, you do take advantage of that in Conquistador. You play the sides against each other. Semi, semi related, but I remember reading a book in college about um, Christopher Columbus, and uh, it had a lot of his like diary entries and things oh. in it. It was written mostly from the perspective of one of his lieutenants, and. The entire book was like, yeah, Columbus was kind of a fuck, and this was like right. <laughs> this was back this then. Was like right before it became like widely known how much of a fuck Columbus was, or at least like in popular zeitgeist. Right. But a lot of it was like, in addition to what he did to the indigenous peoples, he also would just like send our ships on these like three week long side trips, just so he could catalog a different kind of plant. And name six it. of us would starve to death on the way. Yeah. <laughs> Southern Ritual Band. It's not so. How do you how do you think this platform just moved? I, t I don't know. There's no chains. There's no like rails on the walls. It might have slid down. Uh, it just kind of happened. There are no spiders. There's no mechanism on that wall. No, it's on loan from Mega Man. I'm guessing spiders on the wall side of the platform that skitter it up and down as needed. Like that yeah, lever. Yeah, a, a layer of highly compressed spiders. Yeah. Border. Thousands of, thousands of tiny little legs working oh over time. Oh you go, little guys. I believe you in you. Up that platform. Yeah, you have fun with the physics over there. I'm gonna clear up over here. Incidentally, I don't think I've ever lit these sconces ever. I should do that sometime. This is 100% sconce run. All sconce all the time. I mean, that's not true at all, but... Well, we're gonna go back and mop up the missed sconces. Don't you worry, I've been keeping a very detailed spreadsheet. I, I think... I think you're lying. <laughs> every sconce, every brazier, every torque. The guy who hasn't been here for every session is possibly not <laughs> the most reliable on something like that. I will say, because I know you won't do it, uh, there is a thing you get if you light every sconce in the gutter. Oh, oh in the gutter? Wait, the gutter. Yeah. The gutter. The really dark area before the rock. The large blight before, tower. Space. Before what the hell? gulch. Yeah. yeah. No. No. Yeah. Uh, I thought so. <laughs> the creepy one without the sacks. Why is this one? Why? 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 Because I think they wanted to like highlight the fact that like what you think are its eyes are not its eyes. Oh. Sand! It's full of sand. Sand trap. I like that bit, I think it's pretty cool. So, um, what vile substance are you coating your hands and controller in while you play Dark Souls, dog? <laughs> Cherry. Okay. Damn. Oh, it's That's... locked. Okay, maybe later. I'm still not over that. Maybe... maybe. 
Possibly. I still uh, have some cherries left. I've almost eaten them all. I mean, I love cherries. I will happily take those cherries off your hands. Yeah, let's just get out the cherry catapults. Uh, this all looks... bad. Are you familiar with punji sticks? Yes. Welcome to the regular mines, where we dig for rocks. We dig for spikes. We dig for spiders. And How much uh, damage does this do? The, the, well, uh, the spiders around here are kind of spikes. Productivity went way up once they installed the spikes to keep people from resting on the job. Mm hmm. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Now you can dig 24 hours a day, your whole life. Which lasts about three hours. Well, uh. Oh, you get out. Uh. I guess the interesting part there. Oh, rolling on the spikes. Uh, I mean, it doesn't deal any extra damage, but I can just imagine. I remember those uh, hurting a lot more. Maybe they toned them down. Nah. nah. They were always kind of weak. Or maybe I was just afraid of them at first. And that's why. I think so. Because uh, they look there are, there are more enemies outside. Well, more dangerous enemies outside. So it may be that the stress of the spikes combined with those enemies is what you remember. But these are very cool doors. Yes. Well. Welcome to hell. Here. Welcome to Spider House. Spider's with you. I also just want to point out how appreciative I am that these spiders have eight legs. Yay. Like, a lot of times, they'll, I'll, I'll see, you know, a spider design, but they're going for, like, an aesthetic thing, and it's only got, like, four or six. And, like, sure, fine, I get it. It looks cool, but in the back of my head, like, there's something going, like, but you could have just added two more and made it right. I realize that because of this torch, they are not very... Aggressive. Because yes. they are stupid animals. Stupid animals are afraid of fire. Smart animals, they love fire. Can't get enough. <laughs> Smart animals. Smart they animals roll around breathe fire it. and are on fire at all times. Ah, it's full of spiders. Someone combined man no, and spider no, no. and made. No, 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 no. There we go. What have we learned about picking up items? Oh, you're right. I should be just ignoring all items now. This is a no item run. <laughs> well, it was well, about to be a no inventory run. Oh, who's this Joker? That's, uh. Captain Pickaxe. Captain Pickaxe Pig. Any of these lads have names. The ones who just show up as a phantom who's already there. Ooh, cool move. Yeah, these these folks are, are a particular pain in the ass if you'd want to do, like, New Game Plus runs. Because they add bunches of different kinds in inconvenient places. And they get very powerful. I started a, a new game plus run for once. I, I've almost never done that. And it's like, yeah, it's it's like the same, mostly. It's not really a problem until you run into the new red phantoms, and then they just oh, they kill me in two hits. All right. Oh, are you having fun in this location that was previously safe? Fuck you, three Buster Swords. Eat it. <laughs> I mean, I'll 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 deal with it, but. Dang. I may have to play it, but I don't have to like it. <laughs> you can't make me enjoy this Dark Souls. I refuse you. It's like broccoli. Hey, broccoli is good in some things. You know, in America, for some reason, broccoli is that like that one vegetable that stereotyped kids just hate for some reason. I always like broccoli, so I guess I'm weird. Web chamber. Much webs. 
The webs uh... look a little bit better in, in Scholar. A little bit. It's, it's like Great Hollow, but, you know, small and not terrible. Uh, yeah. I, I never even thought about it. I've got 50k. This is... I should really go back. Yeah. 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 You really should. Um... See, Great Hollow would would have been cool, I think, if like you could land on things and trust that you wouldn't just slide off them. Yeah, yeah, that's why the wide walkways are nice. Yeah, that's kind it of all, the problem. Great Hollow would have also been good. Great Hollow would have also been good if that secret door just led directly to Ash Lake and I didn't have to ever fucking look at it again. Yeah. I think that's like Mm. Yeah. Stupid I think going down the tree was cool. I hate splatter death. It never feels good. It gives me anxiety. Sure. I I, I mean, I don't disagree. What's that one level in Banjo-Kazooie? The one where you're changing seasons and you gotta climb up the tree. Click clock wood. Oh. Click clock wood. Fuck that tree. Oh my god. Climbing that tree was one of the most nerve-wracking things of my childhood. Yeah, because you fall you, off, you, uh, you gotta do it again, motherfucker. You may not die, but you gotta do it again. I always think... I always find that to be worse. Not dying? Yeah, like falling off a platform and just falling really far so you get to feel like an idiot for like right. five seconds. Then you have to do it again, as opposed to if you die, then you're like, all right, and then you start over. <laughs> and then at least, like, everything is set up again in the way that is sort of intended for the level design. So there's usually, like, a, uh, a reasonably fast way to do everything. But if you fall down somewhere, then everything is out of sync. And it's probably like a huge pain in the ass to get back. And then my sister, all her cuteness, gets stolen by the witch. Sorry, I haven't heard any of the previous conversation because I've just heard, I've been hearing the song from Click Clock Wood. <laughs> it's the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that game! Put that on the Switch, God damn it! I don't need to play that game again. I absolutely do. That is that is I, my least. I would play that every year if I had it available. I like the Chivos. Yeah, it's if you, if you really like those collectathon games, that's one. Well, of them. I was gonna say, yeah, if if that game's gonna have Chivos, it's fine. Like it, 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 it's, it's already a collectathon, so therefore... yeah, it's built into the DNA of the game. It's not gonna be like anything. Like, God, oh, get all the jiggies. Yep. Sure am. Way ahead of you. It's the reason we play this shit. Music notes? Got him. This warbly boy. I still gotta play you see, too. You see that rope? Okay, never mind. Oh, sorry, did I miss something? Uh, the... It, there is... Well, I got there this. Are, this um, seems pretty good. What is it called? I, I'm Help. not sure what American. you're saying. I'm not sure what friend. you're saying. The ropes Start you can over. hang on to and, and slide across. Zip line. Oh, zip, zip line. Thank you. <laughs> There's a zip line. What? It's a trap. I'm going to explode. That's no, a bad lizard? Fake okay. crystal lizard. Fake crystal lizard. Okay, fine. You got me. <laughs> it's red yeah, and it explodes. Yeah, I definitely was like, oh, it's red. That means it's special, right? It it does mean that. <laughs> it is special in its own way. You know, in a way that doesn't immediately kill me. <laughs> Something they, they did change... Uh, two from Vanilla to Scholar is that 
the spiders, the gimmick they have now, as you noticed, is that they're afraid of fire. Mm -hmm. um, and they, they always were. It's just that in um, vanilla Dark Souls 2, they did a little bit of poison. Like a tiny, tiny bit. Right. And instead they did, like, no damage with their normal attacks. So you didn't really need to use any gimmicks at all because you could just take all the hits and you would probably never get poisoned either because they did so little poison. Ah, it's full of spiders! So I think now they turned into a trap. Less annoying, more dangerous. Hang on, I gotta avoid the slow orbs. Ah. Slow orbs. Slow orbs. Weirdly hard to avoid the slow orbs. Actually, yeah, you're not kidding. They they home they home pretty tightly. Everyone is here. Uh oh. It's a party. Oh no, this guy again. Hey, what hey, you... he's back. We can't believe this is happening here. Sensed all the projectiles in the air. It's like, ah, this is my home. It's where I belong. We just need a wall. Oh, no. More spiders. Fuck you. I never noticed before also they got shot. Death... Oh, also shot, yeah. Oh, the spiders, they got they got um death's heads on their back, like uh spiders they got crossbows now. <laughs> spider? crossbow? Isn't there a spider, a spider that... Can hold... that actually looks like that? With a with a with skull, skull on its back? Yeah. I I know there's oh, a no, that's a ca... no, it's a caterpillar, I'm sorry. Or a caterpillar, yeah. I, I, I know that because of Silence of the Lambs. I'm not like, I don't know how. I don't know what more. Enough. Yeah. I mean. Silence of the Lambs and Salvador Dali. Sure. Whee! Okay, this is, is, new, a, this is definitely a better way to go. Yeah. More walls, more cover, less crossbows. The spiders are returning to the town. Nature is healing. Good. Finally. God. No! Come back here. Why do you desire death in one way but not another? Spike. Come back here, nature. <laughs> God damn it. Fucking nature. Oh god, I'm dead again, aren't I? No, wait, this isn't uh, the, the hole. Toe. No, this isn't where the hole is. This is the other side. Yeah, you did. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I know, because what, Black Widows are, have a, um, have like an hourglass pattern, but that's on their underbelly, yeah? Oh, I don't know that much about spiders. Yeah, that's about all yes. I got. Alright, spike pit. Spike pit. I gotta cross spike pit. I'm probably gonna ignore uh, these guys this time. Spike pits are naturally stabby and will hurt if you fall in them. Okay, this is a spider house. Alright. The only thing I really know about spiders is that they're uh, frequently misrepresented in media as being uh, like intentionally malicious. Like, more so than, say, a cat. Yeah, cats will fucking kill you. Yeah, they, they think you look tasty. Don't think they, they're, they're probably more mean-spirited than a spider is. Yeah, but they have fun doing it. Spiders don't look like they're having fun. Nah, they're... they're, they're Aha! Fun. You fallen into my trap! Yeah, we know. It's a web. We've seen this one before. Very creative. Come up with a new gig. Man, what if... 
What if you're just walking in the forest and there's a log comes swinging in? Well, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I made a better trap, fucker. You happy? I would be really <laughs> impressive. And then they would be the apex predator. But I mean, until then. Spiders, if you're so clever, why don't you take all your extremely elastic, stronger than steel fiber you can make on a whim, build a fucking catapult? That'll <laughs> show them. Actually, I think it's a trebuchet. Uh, if you're so smart, why don't you uh, learn how to code? There you go. Why aren't spiders yeah. on the moon? Eight legs. <laughs> Somewhere there's like a dorky spider, probably named Milton, sitting there like, "Well, I've put my uh, I've put my efforts together, and I've come up with this entirely web-based Gatling gun, and just like <laughs> left the forest." It's like that scene in Rambo where he just cuts everything in half at the waist. I don't think I can go this way. I seem to have. But he is all destroyed by the recoil, so. No, I, I seem to have you. trapped myself. I gotta go to the floor, I guess. Because he's a nerd. Friend ahead. All right, so this nerd spider clearly has glasses, but is it one set of eight lensed glasses or four separate pairs of glasses that's figured out how to arrange to cover all his eyes? Mm. Loon, I think you know the answer to this question. Obviously, it's four actual glasses, because that's funnier. It's both, I think. <laughs> it's both. Why not both? He's kind of, it's bifocal, really but he hasn't figured it out yet. It's a spider still, they're not that smart. And like coke bottle thickness on the lens, he's got him. I'm just glad that spiders are also susceptible to drugs. We're not that different. I just, I'm still trying to figure out in my head how this spider manages to have a retainer for the nerd voice, because it's definitely there, and I just don't know how that works. They have, don't they have teeth? They got mandibles. They don't really have a jaw. <laughs> spider and human love cocaine. <laughs> just, just love it. Just fantastic. A number one. It's, you know what? When you got a deadline to meet, when you need all the ideas in a day. When you need to spin 373 webs in a day. <laughs> and learn how to invest in stocks, it. because they're doing that now, too. We need to integrate more into human society. Oh, God. Now we've got spiders with suspenders and checkered shirts. Spider is your boss. The fucking gecko spider. Alright, what do we got? Spider is boss. We got a spider boss. Spider is your boss. Some kind of large, larger ball, larger spider than normal. Slight, just a little bit. I mean, or is it a spider made out of a bunch of other spiders? Oh, that'd be interesting. That would be no, cool. We already did that. Oh. Of. Or is it just ah? Uh... Oh man, I kind of wish it was that now. It's every spider boss. Now. But, like, what you just said makes me wonder. That would like Legion you. from Castle. Yeah, like Legion from Castlevania, but made out of spiders. That sounds pretty cool. It wouldn't be as scary as Legion. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I don't think so. I mean, Spider already sort of has that on the lot. Beam! Spider being a human spider. Oh, I remember. And there's the spider tech. It's the spider laser. Spider. Milton! Wizard. Man, he's bigger than I thought he would be. Where, is, where are his goddamn glasses? <laughs> Maybe that can't hit anything. Is his weak point? There, the mandible, of course. Yeah, but it's a pretty Rainbow's. narrow thing. Yeah, but it's the laser beam's got 
the laser beam's got a decent cooldown, so after that turns off, you can go in. Oh, yeah, shit. Yeah, time for a Relax. Also, I think it slows you down if you get counter hit by it or something like that. Ah! Oh, no. Either way. Ah, yes, good choice. Switch to faster weapons. I think you're cycling from the other in the other direction, I think would be easier. I think it starts the laser on the same side every time. I think both heads can do both attacks. But it could be. Oh yeah, incidentally, it's, uh, it's kind of gone head as well. But which one? Yeah, which one? Do you think two heads argue over who's going to be on butt Daddy, daddy. Boom. Corrosion. Yeah, fuck him up. Er, er. Um, I mean, if we're going by Norse standards, probably her, yeah, Freya. And all. Going by the name, and this appears to be Mountain Spider. Uh oh. And spiders in media tend to be feminized anyway. Oh. Oh. Oh, you hacked the head off. You got no head. Well, now we have a definitive. Shit. Incidentally, you solve so many problems. Hacking off the head is only good for the boss. It's kind of funny. On very um, high new one of my horses, it's possible to soft lock this boss. Because there's just not yeah. enough health in the two heads together to actually kill it. I see. Really? So yeah. what do you do? You just you you go suffer? You, you just, just stop. You, don't. you can't fight it anymore. Spider <laughs> is done. Yeah, if you deal the wrong type of damage, you can kill the heads. Got it. Nice job. Oh, that was not a great soul. I thought that might have been a great soul, but it's not. Oh no! Nope, not yet. Um, it's not dying. and doom. There is a solution, though. Uh, there are weapons that pierce armor or like pierce shields and things, like mail breaker, and they can still hit the boss. Two through it. Through its uh, hard chitiny exterior to the, the sweet juicy core below. Yeah. Delicious. Ooh, shiny. Oh hey. Oh look Ca up. Cam camera up for a sec. Yeah. Yeah. I see. That's our buddy. Is it Spider caught a biggin? There's the great soul. Freya was not the great soul. This guy was the great soul. Then he fell in a spider web. Which, uh. Good. Fuck him. Indeed. Throwing me in or magic or... jail, thinking he's so cool. Alright. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's some dragon. Just. Could be anyone. Be wary of trap. Are you being caught? Great soul, idiot. Like spiders, Hadouken and books, and books like about books. spiders. Brightstone key, branch, and a dark quartz ring. Okay. There's a neat little um, background lore item in this room. It's.
it's not something you can interact with. It's just a, a thing you can see. Which one is it? Uh, turn to the right and look up. The cage? Yes. There's a broken cage. Tiny spider got big. Uh. Yeah, yeah, implication being that Freya was a pet and burst it out. Yeah. The Duke uh, unwittingly Here. brought doom on his people. Got into some deep wizard shit and released a curse. I say. As you do. Also, also, the bonfire fucked your shit. Huh? Oh, well. deal with it. Fucking deal with it. Are Hachi you the bonfire? <laughs> Hello, I am bonfire. Good day. Hello, bonfire I don't... friend. Is there one of you under you every bonfire? Got it. Oh, no. actually, yeah. <laughs> These are the fire keepers. Time has not been kind. Hello, I'm not weird. You should talk to me. Seven four primal bonfires. Kinda also your bell of awakening replacements here. You successfully touched the things, so uh, you woke somebody up. Right. On fact, uh, you don't need to uh, beat all four areas to proceed to the final one. You can also beat, I think it's two of them, and then get a soul memory of 1.2 million, and that will work out the same. Hmm. So I don't like speedrunners. I guess. Just so you could. I mean, I've seen speedrunners just beat the rotten As like 15 back. times in a row. and Yeah, that's how the speedrun would go. It's like they, they bonfire aesthetic, the rotten or something like that. Yeah. Fight him over and over. I think Which it makes sense from, from a gameplay and story perspective. Gameplay-wise, okay, if you're just completely stonewalled by one of the pads, they won't let that stop you from moving on. And story-wise, and more wise it's asking. your soul is big enough now that you can open the door yourself. Yeah. 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 But you need to but, have... I mean... You need to have the souls on you. It's not like soul memory, right? It's soul memory. Oh, memory. Okay, yeah. I was gonna say, that's a run that could get sidetracked real fucking quick. Yeah, it need. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure it's 1.2 million uh, soul memory that you need. And yes, um, the titular scholar of the first sin is that guy. Yeah, that, that burning mound. Oh yeah. Yeah. I was just picturing some old man with a beard going, "Oh, and then they ate an apple." <laughs> well, I, like I mean, that, but a pile of twisted, like. constantly burning. Meat wood? Ooh, meat, meat wood. wood. <laughs> Strange Ooh. giant tree man. Ooh. Oh. It's like, uh. I'm just picturing that tree in Fern Gully. A little. So, Vendrick. I'm glad. Vendrick. You want to do some uh, light cleanup before uh, heading off? Do you uh, do you have a suggestion? Uh, yeah. Okay. What do you got? Um, did you buy the expensive ladder? No. Might want to buy the expensive ladder. Oh, are there any other weapons I might want to get? Um, um, oh, yeah, that's another cleanup thing. But uh, I I can suggest doing the ladder first, and then I'll I'll point out the other thing. Okay. Where is uh Where is ladder guy? Right here in Majula. Oh, Over right. By the hole. By the hole. I think you need twelve grand. I've got that. You do. Oh yeah, I just right. We're, it's gonna be a, 
a double, <laughs> uh, a double sidetracking, but whatever. You can buy the ladder now. Hey. We're going back to your favorite place. Disneyland? Uh, what? It, kind of, but it's green. And full of poison. Oh, Euro Disney. A very generous yeah. offer indeed. I get such a warm feeling inside. What? I've heard Euro Disney did very badly on launch because they tried to build Cinderella's castle and look, go look, it's castle, it's stupendous. And everyone in France went, yeah, we've got real ones. <laughs> yeah. That sounds, ex yeah. Not, that it's not as impressive over sense. here. <laughs> this ladder's not for sale. Well, we're at it. Did you ever buy the uh, the discount ladder? That's. Should I buy the other ladders? Buy the cheapest one, just you for just, just for fun. Fine then. Yeah, the mid the middle one gets you to the grave of saints. Yeah, and you don't need that, that one. Hey. The, the only but the cheapest one is pretty good. I mean, if that tickles your fancy. Many as you like. <laughs> you want to go down about seven feet. <laughs> Fuck you. That's <laughs> how much ladder 300 ladder. souls will get you. All right. Uh, you don't need to go down the ladder. Yeah, no, we don't. Yeah, not yet. I forgot there's a thing you haven't done. So let's go do that. Um, you go back to your favorite place. The Gulch. The Black Gulch. All right. Incidentally, do you have any like poison daggers or anything like that? You don't need it, but it can make things a little bit easier. Okay, you have you have a good amount, twenty nine. That's that's good. Yes. Chuck them knives. By the way, uh, throwing daggers in this game, pretty good. Oh yeah, you did mention that. As far as cleanup tasks to think about before moving on. I feel like there's one that would be higher priority than what you're uh, you're directing him at. Yeah, probably, but I just find this one to be the coolest one. You just want me to go back here. Yeah, exactly. I just want to torture you some more. Okay. No, um... We're your friends, dog. We have your best interests at heart. Yeah. I'm smiling. That's how you know I'm telling the truth. Okay. So you might want to get, like, a trash weapon or out or something and smash statues with. I see. Just so you, you know, just so it's less of a bother to... You, so you only need one yeah, attack this basic. These will not respawn if you rest at the fire. So you can break a bunch of these, and if you, like, get poisoned, don't even bother spending healing items. Just go bend the leg. Mm -hmm. Forlorn. Your work will be preserved. As long and as you don't is it die what... or leave. Yeah. What were you thinking of, Loon? Uh, Bastille. As far as I've seen, there was oh, a thing in Bastille. Yeah. Right? Oh, no, yeah. I still haven't used that key to its full effect, have I? No. Oh, man. He's just getting poisoned on the way up here. I wish. Like, he gets hit by the poison, but I don't think he can actually get poisoned. Mm, looks like it's not taking effect. He has outlandish poison resistance. He's as close to immune as anything ever gets. Fall. Hey! Hey! Vanquish. Oh, uh, the, the tiniest, <clears throat> tiniest thing yeah. regarding that very specific situation. Uh -huh. um, your character will follow, like, uh, when your camera follows uh, a, a locked-on enemy moving, it will actually, like, pull you forward. So if you knock someone off a ledge, you want to turn off lock-on as soon as you see them go off. Because Are you fucking serious? It, it will go after them. Yeah, it, it will make you less likely to, to go on after them. The cameraman will push you over. The yep. <laughs> that is stupid. 
I will fight <laughs> that cameraman. You can, sorry. I will punch that cameraman in his stupid face. I will break that fourth wall just to fight the cameraman. Hey, good luck. Office did it. You know, I've never seen that. Wait, office or office space? Office. Office, okay. Thunder Mifflin, yada yada. Yeah, yeah. I personally prefer Parks and Rec. I think it it, it is it is it has less of the obnoxiousness that made me resistant to the office in the first place. Mm -hmm. But um, even the office, like after after a while, they find their stride and the the cringe factor goes down enough that I can start getting into it. Yeah, I actually like a good amount of it. I thought that was I, sort of the point of it. At first, and then it stopped, and then they became something else, and I prefer the thing that they became. I honestly prefer the, the post-Stephen Colbert seasons. Oh, or he, not oh, oh, oh incidentally. Uh, you know I mean. Uh, get your pyromancy flame out and throw it at the, the harpools. A little far. Uh, apparently, you can also just pull out your torch and roll over them. Oh, for the same. Yeah, effect. but yeah, but that's not that's not. Well, we're not trying to set them on fire and be ne next to them. We're trying to set them on fire and not be next to them. So well, the point here. Look, we are sorry, smart sorry animals. They, we, uh, roll we are the smart animal. We roll around in the fire. <laughs> there is some surprising range on these fireballs. Yeah. Oh, it's cooking. Oh, <laughs> somehow hit him without actually lighting his particular pool on fire. Yeah. How do you think that thing smells as it's cooking? Like burning right. oil? You're good. It's delicious. I'm afraid it would smell good. Like roast pork. Mm -hmm. That would be the most disturbing thing. Yeah, I think it would just like smell like oil. Well, the oil would burn off. Like, you might have a, like, a light oil aftertaste. Could <laughs> definitely taste, smells like burning tires. <laughs> they, they do kind of look like that, don't they? They have that sort of what texture of tire. What if it smells like, like burning cream? tire, but once you crack it open, it's just shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yeah, tire shrimp. I love it. That's my favorite. Ah, <laughs> oh, Jesus. Anyway, uh, so if you remember, uh, right by this first worm here, you can you can kill them very easily as long as the. Uh, there is a place to fall down. Oh, he seems to fall asleep. Yes. Hey, hey, Framp, Framp Junior, wake the fuck up. Uh, or just. Uh, Maybe it was stun locked by the poison bolts, even though they couldn't harm it. <laughs> Maybe he was stoned to shit and you murdered him. He was sad about it. He was, he was paralyzed by all the good smell food. Ugh. All the tires. Oh, that's my favorite tire shrimp. You don't need to kill the other one. Too. Okay. But. But I want to. This person. And, uh, Where's yeah, the place? You to look off. The... Fall down. It's uh, it's by the first worm. You can just look off the cliff, and you should be able to see it. Uh, usually, people put signs down there too. Uh, okay. There. Yeah. Ah. Uh-oh. Cat ring. Never mind. Okay. Haven't I been down here? So, uh, partly, but not all the way down. 
Is there another fall? Yes. On your, uh, well, look around, I guess, <laughs> instead of me trying to give directions. Ah, over here. Okay, so, uh, strong foe ahead, which okay. is why the poison barriers are, uh, helpful. You can throw a few and then retreat. Oh, hey, friends. Haven't seen y'all in a while. If you can get him poison, then you can just back off and like, do its, its dark work. Yeah, I think I start, it started ticking. Yeah, that will that will chew through a surprising amount of health. <laughs> Eat shit. How do you like it? Not so fun, is it? <laughs> it's, hey, I'm just bringing the theme of the area down to you guys. I'm adopting your culture. This is what you do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going native. Well, oh, well, you don't you, you don't want me around? Oh, you're running? You don't want me in town? The Homeowners Association has decided this cave is not in fitting with the rest of the neighborhood's aesthetic. We need to bring it in. Which means poison. <clears throat> and lots of I love Jesus, any... That's a big swing. Yeah. I love any movie or story where twist ending the real villain all along is the Homeowners Association. I thought you were going to say humanity. Same thing, really. <laughs> if you live in the suburbs, yes. Yes, actually, yeah. Can't deny that. Yeah. I, I have thankfully never it's had people. to fucking deal with one of those one of those organizations, but goddamn, it sounds like hell. Ow! It's a bit half and half, I suppose. The real monster was man. No, don't challenge him. Oh, no, no, no. Help. Hmm. Oh, he'll help. Oh, no. You don't want to do this. I mean, it's so annoying to get down here. We already need to do it twice. Yeah, Hot Fuzz had the, uh, the evil council of just suburbanites. Mm-hmm. Not in my backyard, but to the worst degree. Competition or something. What's up? I missed what you said, Lou. I'm sorry. Hot I feel like trying that. to win some garden competition or other oh, prestigious yeah. neighborhood award. They're eliminating people um, who harm the aesthetic. Yeah. Um. Uh. Uh. Jim. Oh, what's his name? Lovable, lovable, doughy British man. The police chief. Uh, his wife was, um, dragon. like, petrified. And Ring of Giants. And the Ring of Giants is good stuff. I guess. And also, more importantly than all of that, a key. Okay. <clears throat> all right. Nice. So, Maybe you remember that uh, on the platform above this one area, uh, there was a door. You fell down there accidentally before. The platform above this area, there was a door. Yeah, you remember when you went through Black Gulch the first time? Uh, you fell down accidentally and landed on the platform, and there was a locked door. You can actually walk around on a side if you want to get those things. Oh, yeah? Yeah. 
just hug the wall. Silver towers. Okay. Now you can troll people in PvP. Yay? Yay. Yay. You can take your revenge on the binoculars, man. Try. I mean, I guess it. Yeah. It is. Um, it is one of the funnier ways of. Uh, or, I, I guess, more benign ways of trolling. I guess I should just. Oh, you can. No? I you can't. can walk into the, the cage uh, that is hanging from a chain. Oh, really? Yeah, the like gibbet over stuff. there is. Um... He's an elevator. It's the most gruesome elevator. Oh, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. <laughs> yeah, oh, that, I hate it. It seems like a very bad idea. <laughs> oh, I hate it. Like, oh, it closed on me. Oh, it doesn't open. All right. You know what annoys me? In here. You know what gets me every time? It, whenever you gotta wear, like, uh, when someone's wearing a hazmat suit and anything, oh, no. like something that completely covers their head. Ugh, I don't like it. I like it. I don't like having my arms pinned away from my face, because then immediately my nose starts itching, like, automatically. Oh. <laughs> yeah, pools actually dry out. Yeah! yeah. Oh. Each ship. Never saw that. That's cool. Oh no! Ah, oh, the hand mouth! I oh, know, it's, it's dinner. It's here. The finger maw. Ugh. Worst incarnation of the Vampire Hunter D sub character. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Yeah. So if you go back to the the same spot where you, like slightly before where you fell down, uh, over by where the first worm's hole is, roughly. Uh huh. There is a platform you can fall down to. I need a torch to determine that. Okay. Hmm. I'm not going to rest at the bonfire, though. Toggle. Light it up. Isn't Black Gulch fun? No, I hate it. <laughs> even, <laughs> even dismantling it sucks. It's not great. Uh, but when wait, you say you hate it, do you really mean you love it? Yeah, yeah, that. That's it? That platform. Yeah. Ah. Oh. Forgotten key. Oh. Oh, hi. Young undead, don't let this curse weigh upon you. We meet a second time. Perhaps you will yet traverse the dark. Young undead. Yeah, he is an old man. If Who was trying to tell me he wasn't an old man? Seek the dark, then we will surely meet again. May we meet again somewhere, sometime. It's kind of impressive of him to get down here since he's in a wheelchair. Yeah, the gulch is not do accessible. You to, do you need to join his covenant to do his thing? I think you do, yes. yeah. Yes, Dude, there's a side area that is at each of the places again. that this old man is. I see. It's, uh, it's for later. <laughs> it's for very later. Okay, so I should homework anyway, the bone out of here. Yeah. Yeah, no, you leave. Now you can go down the ladder. I was wondering, like, are we going to go down this whole path right now? Oh, no, 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 no. So that, Absolutely that, that is a That is an extensive cleanup. Is a, I'm not so that like, mean. To Majula, then. Yes. I'm, I mean... Uh, I like this game, uh, but I'm not gonna send Dog into that now. I mean, he he'd know if I did and say nope. 
I'm pretty sure. But even if I somehow could, uh, I would not. Oh, I would. I'd lie to him and tell him it's critical path just to get him to yell at me. What a joke. Oh, right. Can ring. Ladder. No. You get ladders. Ladder. Ladders? Ladder. Yeah, ladder. You came down that ladder, and then there's that ladder. Damn it, Gilligan, if you had made the ladder slightly shorter, we'd only need one. Look, he respects other ladder makers' this business. All right. How do you know there are others? What if he's got a monopoly? What if he put that ladder there, too? This is no, he only makes that. he only makes wooden ladders. <laughs> Dragon it's Tower. It's a specialty. Guys want to an unknown land. Uh -oh. oh. Yeah. So that is the key to one of the DLC zones. I see. Okay. That's why. That's why I, uh, I a little bit. Um, and now you have Soul Vortex. Yeah. <laughs> That's and spell. The powerful wizard. <laughs> the guard break spell, apparently. The fucking look at everything over here. Great lightning spear. Hang on. That's a that's a miracle. Very expensive one. Oh right. What did I just that I would need to wield two black steel katanas? Oh yeah, yeah. Maximum weeaboo. Uh Third. Uh, 37 decks? Yeah, you have that. So, 14... <laughs> 21 strength? 21 strength. I've got that. Yeah, so got 22. Is it time for two katanas? Let's see. Let's try and replace... Yes. Do you now know the secrets of the blade? Yes. Will you put that on your Tinder profile? <laughs> I will fat. Now you're fat. I will fat roll it. I, I will do it while fat rolling. <laughs> <laughs> All over the place. No one was going to The least stop graceful me. samurai. Whoop. There's well, no style at all, just kind of <laughs> stumbling all over the place. E Honda wanted a career change, and it's working out for him. And uh... he, he is graceful compared to that. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, um, that... I got. Oh, good. Uh, the reason I why I got some micromanagey for this particular section is because it's really because hard of that, to find because otherwise. it lost an entire. Yeah, it, it's pretty hard to find, and it's an entire DLC area is, is locked behind it, and I thought you might want to see that. I so, see. Yeah. yeah, in vanilla, when when you get when you download yes, the DLC, the, uh, the Dragon Talon is just in your inventory now. You don't have to, like, hunt it or anything, so I didn't even know this was here. Mm. So, and I, well, I guess I should, uh, should talk. The DLCs are incorporated into the story in in this one. They actually rewrote a bunch of the text to make that happen. Oh, cool. Record the new voice lines and things. It's kinda neat. You don't need to I'm do it, but it's it, it's still incorporated into the story. The curse. Seek so what? They're also a lot better about showing you how to access it. Like you've you've you have stumbled into one of them unknowingly. Mm-hmm in the past. As opposed to the first game where it was a f fucking Rube Goldberg machine of silliness. Yeah, I, I think it was Slow Beef who said that it was a uh, they could have just sold a DLC and uh, not 
actually included anything. Because people would just look around everywhere and probably find new things and think that was the DLC. Oh, yeah. That's kind of funny. <laughs> I mean, like, yeah, I'd be mean, but sure. <laughs> Fucking... Uh, maybe I'll pay for this. I haven't seen this area before. <laughs> Well, no, the DLC in the first one, it's just bad shit. The fucking, like... Oh, that's yeah. That's one of those things... I, I, yeah, how do you, how I had to look that, that shit up or ask somebody about that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think everyone did. I don't, I don't think that's a yeah. reasonable thing for someone to have intuited it did. Right. Like, if only for the fact that the the, the very back of the lake in, in Darkroot, you never would go there. Ever. There's nothing until they implemented the DLC. <laughs> There's the Hydra boss, and then like, oh hey, that was the Hydra boss arena. There's no reason to cross that lake, especially with all the stupid blind pitfalls. Yeah, there, there's the there's the ladder behind the Hydra, but in the actual waterfall, there is nothing at first. So what are we thinking about then? I'm thinking about those cells in Bastille that I never opened. Yeah. I, yeah, I think holding cells would be the way to approach. Either or what I'm thinking of. No. I think we're thinking <laughs> of the same thing now, and I, I don't think it matters, but we didn't go through this path last time, so might as well do it now. There's stuff. I can think of an optional boss we could hit while we're in this corner of the world. Man, you you actually you are mean. <laughs> nah, it shouldn't be a problem at this point, probably. Yeah, I know you'll fucking dust it, but it's annoying. When I hmm. I first found boss fight, I thought it was like completely unreasonable, like complete nonsense. And then I figured out. You know how to play the game, and then I'll go. Oh, no, it's actually no, it's kind of fun, huh? That's weird. Rock a mini mama like a wagon wheel. Ooh. I don't remember this area. You haven't been. Yeah, you never took this road. Really. Yep. We talked about it a few times, but you, you never actually went here. Yeah, this is the path for approaching the Bastille from from the port. You boat into here. This is for people without magic eagle friends. Oh. Hi. Lord of the Rings Elf, motherfucker. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Mini dog and pursuer. Do not mock the puppies, they are good. Mm. A little nippy. <laughs> They're just a little nippy, that's all. It is the other side of this, uh. This grating that you ran into once. More puppies! I saw a, 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 a baby Shiba Inu on my walk the other day, and it was the most adorable thing I've ever seen. Oh. That's not what these guys were. Yeah. Sewer. He leaves if you step out of his uh, area. Like there's a small area that he spawns in and and if you step out of that area you don't, what? You don't okay and he just yeah you'll away. have to rest or leave and come back to reset him if you want to fight him i see i think we mentioned this before but he's not really that good at pursuing no he's kind of lazy oh wow the dog got stuck back here yeah, he's more of a he's more of an ambush predator like a crocodile yeah, I, yeah. That's, that's a good 
comparison. Waits for you to come by the watering hole, bite your face off. And if he doesn't get you, hey. No uh no scales off his back. We'll just wait for another one. PC or are you a or there or was what? a talk prompt? <laughs> what the him hell friend. are you doing? <laughs> that was that was beautiful. That was perfect. No, him him friend. <laughs> sir, please stop swinging that swinging hammer. Yeah, <laughs> You're giving me the anxiety, sir. I want to patronize your shop. Why are you closed? Probably my favorite blacksmith in the series. Flynn, Flynn, I smell flame upon you. Uh huh. I'm not doing just, just mildly senile Scottish man. So, I'm that ember to me right now, you imbecile. <laughs> yes, this is the guy who can use your ember. You've got stones, I pray. Give me stones, and I'll fortify your gear. And he can put elements on your stuff. And he sells infinite large titanite shards. Yeah, so infuse here. You can pick any regular weapon. Oh shit, I just need another dragon. I need more souls. Be gone. Yep. There's more souls. Um, a thing you uh, you might want to do first. What? Um, you have selected well, discard and not use, or no? All right, you've selected quantity to use. No, no, just, just, All right. just you know, do whatever. But your menu was like uh, turn around for a sec and walk towards the door. Uh, there is a second door with a bonfire. With a bonfire. So you, you light that bonfire and you light a torch. And you light the scones in here. And then you sit at the bonfire. And then you light his beard on fire. And then you light his beard. Okay. And then he moves over here. <laughs> so you can get it, the chest he was sitting on. This actually... I was a little bit worried when you gave him the ember while he was sitting on the chest because Hi. in vanilla that oh hello dogs in vanilla that could actually bug out and he would just take your ember and then not do anything mm. like you wouldn't be able to forge anything from him uh, if you gave it to him while he was sitting on the chest. But it seems to be working now. Okay. Glad they fixed that. I ought to play. Infuse, you say? Yeah, so this is where you can give weapons elements. Oh. Probably not going to be super useful for you. But it's cool. Yeah, all the various kinds of thing stone. You spend them to apply these effects. I haven't seen him bug either for a very long time, but I, I've i always done it the correct way, quote unquote, since I found out about the bug. So I don't know when they fixed it. I just know that it was a bug at one point. Oh. So 
scimitar. Also one of those weapons that just stays pretty good. Never goes out of style. It's so slashy. And now that you have infinite small shards and infinite large shards, uh, you can basically just try whatever. Uh, and that's, uh, you, obviously, you didn't know on a first playthrough, but you can get to this black, blacksmith very early on. I see. And um, that means that you have access to large, infinite large shards very early on, which means that you can just take any weapon you feel like and upgrade it very far. So you can just try whatever and not feel bad about, um, you know, using up your forge materials. I see. And that's a change in... Uh, color basically I made it that way all the way to chunky town previously you had to complete iron Key before you unlock this blacksmith uh, blacksmith or, well, all his all the things he could do including buying uh, infinite blood shards no puppies Hmm. All right. Oh yeah, 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 now that you open the door, I can tell you how to get in there earlier. There's an easier way? If you want. Yes. <laughs> so you see at the top of this, these stairs, there is a dude Hi. with a barrel. Um, you can keep that barrel down before he does that. Um, you can kick the barrel down to the wall, where you, you see there's a sign down there, by the yeah. wall. If you kick the barrel down, you see there's a huge crack in that wall. Uh -huh. You can use the barrel to blow up the wall. Okay. Explode wall! So, you can get in there as soon as you get to, uh, to the Bastille. Either you kick it down yourself, or with the right positioning, you can provoke that guy into kicking it for you. Oh, right, this area. Yeah. yeah, this goes right to a bonfire. Yep, yep. Yeah, Luca Teal was up ahead in this little tower. And... Yeah, now you're back in familiar territory. Mm hmm. Okay, so now I can go back to. Uh... Oh, or wherever you want to go. I can think of a couple of things we could do. Yeah, what do you uh, got? Head to uh, head to Belfry Luna. Is that under something? It should be its own. Belfry Sol. It's uh, servant quarters. In uh, Best Bastille and in Servant Quarters. Bonfire. Oh, we didn't we didn't unlock any bonfires in Belfry Luna itself. Oh, I guess that would be the only the one then. Yeah, yeah that's afterwards. So oh, that's fair. All right, didn't think like that. Well, from here, go down that ladder. That one. Yeah, to Belfry. Just you know, complete this area. Yeah. I don't, did you pull the lever? D did you ring the bell? Maybe yourself. There. I don't remember. Um. That no, I think I got killed every time. Oh. Yeah. Well, time to ring the bell. Another crack. Another stab. Another... Slash? Whack? Poke? Some pretty good damage on well, that. We're on, we're, on, we're on slashing weapons right now. Oh, yeah, we are on slash. Please, just right. please. Get with the program. Look. <laughs> clearly, clearly, I disregard program. I am not, I am not a programmer. Um... 
I took a C class one time, but it was more than I wanted to do. I In the face of Will, I assume it. your question is entirely innocent, but I am just... I am just not... <laughs> I don't want to answer, is this online or not? The answer is yes. It is online. To the most unfortunate degree. Uh, At least we're ready now. Yeah, I'm ready Last. in case somebody else tries to invade me and drop hat shit on me. It only works the one time, at least. But you can only do it once. Then we find an IP tracer and we learn where they live. And give them a strict talking to. Next. Very worthwhile, that sounds like. Bellkeeper shield. I remember this room being a lot harder. I rang it. I did it. Yay. I remember there being like eight of those little guys. Nah. It's just four of them, but what you remember is them hitting for two. They were all <laughs> they very so hard. out and angry little fellas. Okay, now yeah. what? I heard something just happen. Yeah, well, now you go back down. With an iron lattice in front of it. Lattice. That is a word I need to incorporate. Oh, yeah. Not just for pies. Although, it is delicious in pies. Oh, no! Nah. <laughs> yeah! Welcome. Welcome that I hate. <laughs> Welcome to why. This shouldn't be too hard. This shouldn't be too hard at this point. You've had the practice. They, they're very different from the first uh, from Dark Souls one, even if the music is, is the same. Um, it's a pretty hard fight, but I think it's it's, quite, sure. it's pretty fun to do when you first get here. This is kind of cool. I like this. I mean, there's a lot going on. Um, at this point in the game, you kill them so quickly that there's no Unless you get, like, absolutely mobbed, which can happen against any enemy. Sure. But, yeah. But maintain, when you... I maintain that in each game going home, from should make you fight a larger number of weaker gargoyles. <laughs> <laughs> Finally walk into a room and your footsteps footsteps make weird noises and you realize the whole room is made of tiny gargoyles. The floor is just covered in a thin layer of gargoyles. Dark Souls 8, like, ah, oh, I'm having trouble breathing on even hail microscopic gargoyles. They're taking my demo. Man, that... That's the, that's the sci-fi Dark Souls when we got in the future. <laughs> I mean, I would play that. Royal Nano Machine. I'd play that, that'd be cool. I mean, it's kind was, of the search, but... What was Vamp's secret? He inhaled birds. Alright. Cool. I would not have found that. Because I thought I was done yeah, with this no, area. Completely hmm. optional. But, uh, you remember what happens after the gargoyles. Uh, yeah, then you ring the bell. Yeah. Head yeah. up the bell tower. Uh. Oh, it's that And now we're going backwards. <laughs> yeah, that would be a good bit. You just put you on a baseball <laughs> field and just go, okay, batter up. The one gargoyle talks about having dinner with his estranged daughter. She still hates him. It's very sad. You're also not sure why that's, that conversation is happening. But the gargoyles have beautiful singing voices, at least. Yeah. Uh, now I can rest, yes. Yeah. Yes. Certain ritual band that's uh, like a hootenanny, I think. 
Yeah. That's <laughs> yeah. That's, you, know, you got a jug. You got one of those like it's like a wash tub with a string. Dog pen. I read a theory. I remember reading something somewhere. Uh -oh. I don't. It, I don't remember, but it, 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 the, the theory was that um, Dr. Pease's daughter was bad girl. Yeah. I can't remember the rationale behind it. I'm pretty sure... Bad girl's dad is in one of the newer games. I'm pretty sure. Oh my I god, is there a bad dad? Bad dad? Yeah. I think it's he's just called bad guy. <laughs> oh wow! I've only played one and two, so I don't know about um, the, the, the whatever else is coming out. It was super great, practical man. He said that was the only thing you needed to know to play it. Is that bad dad? Isn't it? Yeah. Or bad guy? Yeah. Oh, I hated that stupid fight. I mean, it was a good fight, it was very well designed, I just fell for her stupid bat trick, and I'm still bitter. <laughs> just kick his ass! Yeah, I'm he's a sinner! It's a... He is, so uh... Many sinners. He's a, uh... Vanilla, uh... NPC invader, which means that he can't do anything. Yeah, I noticed. He, he can stab me a couple of times, but... The vanilla NPC invaders just kind of walk at you and attack. So, you can just trade hits with them if there's nothing else going on. The only thing dangerous here is, of course, that the dogs are here. So anti-dogs. Everyone's anti-dog. Well, I'm anti-dogs that rip your flesh off unprovoked. It's, it's tooth snuggles. Oh wow, fifty strength for this I, thing. I need my flesh. <laughs> it's I need You've it. That's so much flesh. I've it's... never met you in person, but I'm willing to bet you could spare a little bit of flesh. I really can't. I'm very skinny. Enchanted falcon. I need it. I need all of it. <laughs> Even skinny people can spare a little bit of flesh for a pup. Well, I'll just have to. Uh... Agree to disagree on this one. <laughs> what size flesh are you? No. Uh, Something no John Oliver said on, on last week tonight a couple weeks ago, and it's been stuck in my head ever since. Okay, so that's Bastille. Mm, I can yep. think of one other kind of interesting thing back in Majula that I okay. don't think we've done yet. This is more oh, I of a have one thing. Background plot thing. I have a thing. Where? This will be quick. Bottom of Grave of, Grave of Saints or something. Bottom of Grave of Saints? Okay. Is that Here, really here? quick, go over to that Sorry. house. However. Now that you've got some souls. Actually, maybe. Eh, hmm. Where? Cat House? Uh, no, to the left of the, the leftist house. Armor Merchant House, if you remember Armor Merchant. Oh. Moglin. I, I, yeah, I guess we shouldn't... I guess we should chill on, like, things that aren't really... Oh, hello again. Uh, special? I don't know. Like, not every single item needs to be picked up. No. Uh, yeah, so well, what's being just... pointed out here is this guy will upgrade if you buy some stuff from him. I, I don't know the exact yeah, this... thresholds, but... but I... This is less like... about... This is less about the items. If you purchase... Um, yeah. Purchase some stuff, sit at the bonfire, and talk to him. I think it's like, if you purchase 4,000 souls worth of random shit... Calling then the he'll upgrade. Much power in yeah, can I get 26 tower shields? To <laughs> Just the shields. <laughs> Yo, can you hook me up? I'm trying to build a house out of tower shields. Okay, much. sit at the fire and then come back. Come again. Yeah, sit at the fire, they come and he'll have new dialogue options. 
I am uh, starting a, a turtle formation. <laughs> I am doing a one-man phalanx, and I need uh, all the tower shields, also all the arms. Now he's sitting on a chair. I've stocked some new things. He's slightly less sad. Oh whoa! But you can do it again. And now I think it's ten thousand. Also, now he sells yeah, yeah, equipment from the bosses you killed. Cool. Yes. Several bosses have armor sets, and I think most of them are sold here. Oh, yeah, he is your, he yes, is your you fashion have, soul. You have a smelter demon set. You have a, the sinner set there. You get that good iron mask. You can be the man what is in. Hey, you want a torture mask? You mean this? <laughs> 7,000 souls, please. <laughs> All right, so you said 10,000? Spend 10,000? I think it's 10,000. All right. That's smelter demon armor it, it is. is. <laughs> I could be mistaken, I but I think that's what it is. Disenchanting at first. Yeah. Make sure to go through his talk points every time, because that's that's the uh, the reason to do this. They're all strangely desperate. I got some regulars now. They're all you. Sadly, some of them never come. And they're all desperate, and they all have money to think about it. By money, I mean people's souls. I'm no expert. I'm not sure how that works, but the monstrous thing has a peculiar design, quite unlike anything found in Volgan. If you should Volgan, him, son of a bitch. Would you ask him if he won't sell it? I'd have to take another look, but I'm confident I could offer quite a price. Also, they keep going on about Ben Hart's sword, even though it's like the least interesting thing ever. I can't bear to give it up. Some people think it's so many NPCs. want to break his heart. Yeah, like there's another NPC that talks about his fucking sword. It's like, what? What does anyone care about this fucking sword? It's just, just a sword. I consider it's the blue sword. It's the it's sword not, that it's, the, it's in it's, every game. It's only interesting from a meta perspective. <laughs> you get so many NPCs fucking talk about it. Ugh. It's usually a plot sword. And yeah, his quest also, line yeah. is terrible. His questline sucks ass. The easiest way of doing Ben Hart's quest line is to use uh, two um, bonfire sacks. Yeah, I think I think I had him kill the the ruined sentinel. No, not the the the, the flexile demon. I think was the the one I, I I did up with him. Doesn't look like he's up he's upgraded. Okay. Try to try something try else. Something. Uh, try his try his conversation. See if there's anything new there. I considered returning to my home. Oh, Flexile might have been Luca Teal. Yeah, it's possible. Yeah, it's the same. Ben it's Hart. the same quest line. Yeah, basically. Uh, well, ben not Hart. the same quest line, but you're doing the same things. Yeah. The yeah. the problem with Ben or the well, the annoying thing about Ben Hart's quest quest line is specifically that the bosses you can fight with him are not really bosses you want to summon for, for one reason or another. Like, even if you wanted to, it's kind of annoying. And the best one to do it for is actually, uh, the, um, uh, congregation. Ah, hello. Um, sorry, have we met? Ah, here oh, we are. Sorry. It's just I've been awfully busy. Look at that lately. posture. Now he's an asshole. Please, be my guest. Yeah, he turns into a complete recently. prick. Maybe you can't afford it. Ooh. Alva armor? Yeah. 
That might be for you, actually. That might Elva be for Armor. me. Because it's it's light and pretty good, uh, and it looks cool. Thanks for the and you can get rid of that ridiculous feather. I mean, I'm not going to get rid of the feather. for the feather. Yeah. Yeah. Everything else can go, but that stays. Come on. <laughs> Unless you want to use the toidal armor. Or or uh, the... Um... Oh, yeah. Try putting on the uh, smelter demon armor. Ah. So yeah. much shoulder pad. Ow. That Ow. Oh, God. Ow. Oh, God. Ow. Oh, God. Ow. I think my favorite thing about that is is the fact that it's open in the belly. It's a belly oh shirt. Oh god, look at ew. Well yeah, <laughs> Oh needs, my god. It needs to be a belly god. shirt so he can fuck? so he can impale himself. He's got a he's got a forge in there. He don't need no belly coverings. Yeah, but we kinda do. So I I'm not the turtle sure. Turtle not be that flexible. What is it doing? If no. you got it, flaunt it. Why is it undulating? Alright, so I'm going to have to up my... Uh, Alright, it's time to expend souls now. A little bit. Soul there's time. some There's some more dialogue for the the armorer, though. Did you do the... Did you talk to him after he got all cocky? Does that do anything? Looking for armor? <laughs> I'm rich! I'm rich! <laughs> I don't need to go home. Any home. Home? Where where is home? I'm ri I don't home. He doesn't even remember like where he's from anymore. So even if you don't turn into like a horrible face sucking monster, Halloween can have different flavors of shitty. He's not fulfilled, is the thing. Um, that, that seems to be uh, something that uh, sort of recurs in, in Dark Souls, is that people can avoid going hollow as long as they have purpose to their existence. And as soon as they like finish what they felt they needed to do, they just immediately. Yeah. So if you have some sort of infinite thing, <laughs> that doesn't really end, like, being a blacksmith, then you can avoid hollowing forever. You just need to set good goals in life, is, is the lesson. As long as you don't forget which end of the room the anvil is at, and just start swinging your hammer at empty air for a few <laughs> hundred years. It's dark yeah, in so here, why is not clang sound? As long as you remember to get a new ember now and then. As long as you can remember that. I uh, yeah, yeah, that, yeah. Because he knows his purpose in life is to be a total bastard. So, people down holes never stops being funny. What souls can I eat? Well, you can eat all of them. Uh, let's see. Your Dex man. Well, I'm, I want to so, equip my. I want to. I want to up my vigor a bit, or not my vigor. Uh, vitality. Vitality. Yeah. So I can get my equip load a bit more up. Yeah, yeah. Uh, now I was just thinking which boss souls you could eat, um, since you are a Dex man. Should I go look at straight? Uh, you can do that. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. That's uh, that's the. Uh, that's the other thing uh, I was going to direct you to. Uh, before you go to Strayed, uh, head back to Seldora. Who? Seldora, uh, the mine place. Brightstone Cove? Brightstone Cove, yes. Spider okay. Pit. Uh, chapel? Yep, second bonfire. So, uh, when you walk through the first spider room, and you see the mage guy standing on the platform. On that cliff side, uh, drop off the side of the cliff instead of going across. 
there is a little bit of a, an outcropping that you can hold on to below. Yeah, below here. Don't be eaten by spiders. Okay, sorry. Uh... Below here, yes. I uh, just look around the side. Yeah, there. You can go down there, I believe. This one? Where the, the signs were. No, not there. Yeah. Where where the or soapstone signs were. Oh well, head back up. Eat shit, wizard. It's confusing. So Laura is a little bit, little bit confusing, and uh, and and yeah. Shit. Spider dangerous. I think you you were kicking their asses better with the swords. Yeah. Also, yeah, torch scares spiders. That's also a solution. Yeah, I haven't uh, really upgraded this equipment. That's also true. Though, um, since it is super light armor, each upgrade doesn't do like a whole lot. So. No, I keep forgetting what I'm doing here. I'm lighting a torch. Yeah. There we go. So on the the platform out there with the mage, it would be on the right side. I can actually say that now, since not facing it yet. I'm real bad at giving directions. The one with the message next to it. Yeah. Oh, that little alcove there. Yeah. Hey, Andrew, thank Good you. to see this continued after the hack. That's why I don't play these games online. <laughs> yeah, I'm finding out. Fortunately, we got through. Ah! Souls community have some dicks, but I think, honestly, if you average it out, I think it has more lovely people. Ooh, yeah, there help. was like immediately, like a couple people who were trying to help me out. I also had to convince myself that, like, no, this is not, in fact, an elaborate ploy to get access to my computer <laughs> via cheat engine. Uh, yeah, I guess. It could have been a two-part oh, scheme, but nah. Yeah, it could have been a real, real elaborate two-part scheme. <laughs> But I figured it was just more likely that they wanted to see the stream continue. Yeah. So, uh, I think you remember there was a, uh, a door that said, can't open from the side, this is how you get the that. Okay. And there is a door, once you go out here, there is a door on the left. First small door on the left, you want to go in there. Which can be kind of annoying because there is projectiles everywhere and spiders and passengers all and shit. They put it this in a kind of awkward place. Bird! Also, I like the fact that and when you try to open the door, the, the uh, magic projectiles just blows it out of your hands most of ah. the time. There are spiders and other friends as well. 
it's a very it's a very bad spot to put this on slink but they did <laughs> bird is like trying to talk while we're just <laughs> no stop we're guests here sorry Evil. Apologies, my. Multi bow. Clean out this man. Oh, I got the multi bow? Yeah. Yeah. Got an Evelyn. Now you just need an under one. Then you can Hang be on. just as cool as that guy. We got additional spiders here. Uh, amusingly enough, there was a point in time where double Avalon was actually like a legitimate PvP build. See. I forget why, but it was. Oh, go ahead, Snow. Snow knows. Trade. Trade. Spider Fang. Boss weapon. Spider's silk. Butcher's knife. Iron King hammer. This spider fang looks neat. Oh. Yeah. Uh, do you remember um, uh, the invader in Iron Keep? Uh, that had the, the uh, extendo sword. Oh, is this it? No, but she also has that. Oh, yeah? Uh, it shoots webs. Oh, the spider silk? Yeah. No, uh, the, the other one. Oh, the fang. The spider fang, yeah. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I think I'll try that one out. <laughs> wow, that, that sounds extremely rude, Snide. I never experienced it myself, but I can imagine. And yeah, you can do regular smithing stuff while you're here. That too. Petrified dragon bone. Yeah. As it is a boss one. It's not great, but it's it's kind of funny. Aha. Uh -huh. Um, that goes yes, uh, hard. so, uh, basically, um, uh, she has, uh, different boss souls that she can transform than straight. Mm -hmm. I think they have a few in common. Uh, I could be wrong about that. I, I don't remember. But if there is a boss soul that straight can transform, then it's Orn effects that does it. I see. Uh, sometimes I think they can each transform the same soul, but it'll be into a different item. There are, there are some, some souls that can be turned into multiple different things. I see. Yeah. Uh... And not always weapons, sometimes uh, spells. Well, I guess I'll bone back. Yep. I mean, you are right by a bonfire. Am I? Yeah. Eh. Get away from that orb. Yeah. Bye, orb. What if the orb got sucked into the teleportation with you, and now Dobby's dead, you monster? Uh, oh yeah, I guess I should check straight and see if there's anything I want. Feeble undead. Um. So the first time I played this game, I thought straight was voiced by Malcolm McDowell, and like I couldn't unhear Malcolm McDowell's voice every time he talked. And it's not, but I still hear it a little bit every time. 
I actually went since you you talked about whether uh, some character was voiced by a certain actor. I went and looked at IMDb, mm -hmm. and no, I don't think there's anyone quote unquote famous on there. Well, there's Ruth Nega and Peter Serafinowicz. Yeah, but besides the ones you specifically knew. Oh, you mean beyond those two, I see. Yeah, um, you, you were guessing a few times, so I checked, but no. Oh, God, yeah, I don't recall. Uh, exactly but I think that's I think that's cool. It just shows that there is uh, a lot of good voice actors. Or Argoyle good actors, Isaacs. I guess. Yes, it's actually quite good. Yeah. It's like a trident, but only two. This bent blade. Oh, it's a dagger. Yeah. Chariot lance. Uh, Mythus bent blade is kind of funny because it causes toxic. Oh god. It's really bad otherwise, but it's it's m mostly a gimmick weapon. He's also got acid surge. Yeah. Is that any so good? Much acid up for equipment. Oh. It's a good PvP spell. It makes way it brings down um, durability really, really fast. None of the sort of poison cloud things ever seem to work. Like in PvP, I mean. They're so easy to avoid. I see. So it doesn't sound like I really need any of these. No. Just can be cool to know that it's here. But that one scythe looks really cool and spiny. Scythe looks pretty cool. Very high high, I... high strength, though. Yeah. I have to aim them manually, I guess. You just, you kind of have to guess where people are going to go when you spit. Mm -hmm. You fool, you shot where I was. Okay. I have not faced many people who are like legitimately good at PvP. Because it is not high. So they do not fight very often. Mo most of my PvP experience was finding people on Discord being like, hey, do you want to grind out fucking dragon scales? Because <laughs> everything about that is terrible. ugly ass thing. Oh, Stray gives you things if you get enough boss soul, if you trade enough boss souls with him. Yeah, and another thing with Stray, actually. You know those forlorn you've been killing? Yeah. Apparently they're like related to straight in some way. I forget if it actually says what it is. But after you kill a certain number of them, he starts selling their equipment. Hmm. So if you wanna wanna have forlorn armor and weapons, he will eventually have those. There's a giant soul. There is a giant soul. Can't eat that. Can't eat it. Okay. Yeah. Save, save those, don't, don't fuck with those. Yeah, they do something. <laughs> something else. Bear, seek, seek, less. It's too big to eat. It's a giant soul. Things you could do with a giant soul. The great and wondrous things. Hmm. Do not quite. Giant. Yeah, not quite. Do we want to look over which boss souls are safe, quote unquote, to eat? Yeah, sure. Let's see if we can get another couple. Do I need to go? Should I go back to straight? Nah. I think I, I know offhand. Uh, which ones are definitely not in your wheelhouse. Let's 
So... Still got old Iron King. Still got the Rotten. Smelter Demon, I'm pretty sure you will never use. Because it is a huge sword that... Right. Super heavy sword that also uses magic. So, probably not going to use that. Same thing with uh, old Iron King. Mm -hmm. Giant hammer. Uh, 50 strength, I think it, it uses. So I don't think you will ever use that either. That ought to do it. That'll get me another two levels. Yeah. Bear. Down. I want to be down to, like, lock. 71. I'm at 70. Even. Got there. Oh, well. Oh, well. Seems to be working. Is it? As long yeah, as I don't touch a thing. Yeah. <laughs> let's, let's see how much we can... Don't let, up. like, a mode of dust land on you. Yeah. Is there one more big soul I can eat? could eat the rotten soul, I suppose, unless you especially are interested in getting the, the meat cleaver. Nah, I don't need no cleaver. Is it a one hand? Uh, yeah, it's a one hand. It's, ah, it's, not, one hand. it's not, like, completely out of your reach, I think you can use it right off the bat, but I don't know if it's a weapon that would interest you either. I think we're doing okay for now. Alright, so I'm going to be on a... on a Thai stream in about an hour, so I think I'm going to hop off for now. Uh, and next time, hmm. we'll tie up some loose ends, maybe look at some DLC. Right? Because I guess if I want to do DLC, I want to do it before finishing the game proper. Uh, going oh, you're... to where you're going next oh, is not the end of the game. It's more like reaching an Orla, though. Yeah. You're a ways off from finishing the game. Don't worry about that. Wow. You're about halfway, I'd say. I thought I was almost done. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. What the fuck? What is this game? No. What the this hell is going long. on with this game? This game is long. <laughs> okay. All right. Next time, more game. More game. <laughs>